Hey everyone, Doug from Convology.com here. Today we're looking at a plugin that's relatively new called CartFlows, which is basically a sales funnel builder for WordPress that integrates with WooCommerce. Uh, in simple terms, it allows you to create a very basic funnel from a landing page to checkout page, and it even, if you get the pro version, allows you to do things like upsells. Um, I think the tool is really great. However, there's one little flaw with it right now, and that's that they do not easily uh, easily integrate with Thrive Architect or, or Thrive Leads or the Thrive plugins. However, they are saying that templates are coming to CartFlows for Thrive Architect. Uh, however, those are, as of the time of creating this video, uh, still well over a month overdue from the time that was promised. Still, it's a great tool, and integrating Thrive is actually pretty easy. So you can go to uh, cartflows.com and you can get cartflows. I'll also put a link in the blog post and in the description of this video. Or you can go to the plugin repository and just search for cartflows and download cartflows right from there. Everything that I'm showing you today is 100% the free version. You do not need pro. However, a lot of the really neat uh, kind of like additional tools that they give you are in the pro version only. But still, today's video is all the free version. So let's jump right in. The first thing you're going to want to do is familiarize yourself with the settings. That's under CartFlow settings. Um, and the, th the thing you'll want to look at first is show templates designed with. And by default, it's Elementor. And that's because the creators of the plugin uh, are just really big Elementor fans. Um, and that's great. Elementor, Elementor is a nice tool. Um, but you'll notice that if you click on the drop down, there's Beaver Builder, Divi, and other. If you choose one of these, it's basically just going to show you some. Uh, templates for those. You can change this to other if you're a Thrive user like I am so that you don't see those template options or you can just leave it. It doesn't really matter and in fact nothing here really impacts what we're going to look at today. So when we're done there we want to go to flows. Okay this is where we're going to create a flow. So the first thing you'll want to do is click add new and these are those ready templates right if you had Elementor installed they'd be in here or click create your own. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to click create our own and design our flow. I've already gone ahead and clicked that button for me. I've given it a name and I'm working with the Thrive Architect Sandbox. So once you have your flow created, just click edit. And you'll see that here we are, we have the skeletal structure of our cart flow. We have the landing page, the checkout page, and the thank you page. So today we're going to look at the landing page and the checkout page. And we're going to look at kind of how to get this set up with Thrive Architect. So what you'll want to do is go ahead and click Edit under Landing Page. And this looks basically like any other WordPress editing. You can give it a name. You can uh, see that it has a permalink. And down here, this is pretty much the only important part. You're going to see short codes. Copy that because this next step link is the link that you're going to need to put on your button element in order to proceed from the landing page to the checkout page. So once you have that copied, and you can always come back and get it later, what you're going to want to do is update your page and then click on the Launch Thrive Architect like you would with any other Thrive Architect built page. So let's go ahead and do that now. And as you can see, I have already built my page using Thrive Architect. In fact, I've replicated one of their templates that they built in Elementor right here in Thrive Architect functions exactly the same as Thrive Architect does. You can see I can use Thrive Architect like normal. I can drag any element in. So you're free to build any style landing page that you want. You can even import your templates. So if you go to import templates and you're like, oh, okay, I really love the uh, the fit brand template or the, the flat designs, you can actually import those too. However, um, I feel like those need to be updated a little bit. Some of them are pretty uh, antiquated. So I've just gone ahead right here and, and created the Elementor, uh, Elementor template that they had in Thrive Architect. And I, I will make this available for download in the blog post that goes along with this video. So once you have your uh, page completed, you will want to find your button element or whatever that they, or whatever you're, you're creating that allows somebody to proceed to the checkout page. And you're going to want to take that link that we copied and under here on the left-hand side, under the button link, I would uncheck open a new tab and I would just paste in the link that takes them to the next step and save your work. Once saved and you've added it to all of your buttons, this is the landing page and you're completed. Now let's go back to our, our flow here 
And let's look at our checkout page because this is the next step in our cart flow. Click edit on checkout page. And two things you'll want to select here. First, under select product, you'll want to choose the product that this checkout page corresponds with. I've just made a test product. And the next thing you'll want to do is get your Cartflow's checkout shortcode. This is important because this is what renders the checkout for Cartflow's, which is actually a very nice looking checkout page. So let's go ahead and copy that and then click edit with Thrive Architect. Here we are on a checkout page. I've once again created one of their templates in Thrive Architect. And this is just showing you that you can basically create anything in Thrive Architect that they were able to create in Elementor or Beaver Builder or Divi. And the main thing that we want to work on here is adding our short code. So we're going to open up our element selector. We're going to search for a WordPress content block. We're going to drop that onto the page. I put mine inside of a background section. We're going to paste in our short code and we're going to press save. Then you want to save your work and then you want to refresh your page. You'll see here that we have the checkout section appearing right inside of our, our checkout page that we created. It is fully functional. You can preview the page and it will be interactive. And basically that's all there is to it. Couple notes here. If you don't want the two column layout, you'll have to upgrade to Pro. In the Pro version of Cartflows, they allow you to do a lot of changing and manipulation of the uh, billing detail section and kind of like this checkout. Uh, unfortunately, this is all you get with the free version. However, it's still pretty cool. This is a, a very easy uh, to use checkout. It's very user friendly and functions perfectly. Okay, that's all there really is to it. That's how you can simply use Thrive Architect with Cartflows. All you have to do is edit the page like you normally would and click the edit with Thrive Architect button or launch Thrive Architect button and you're done. If you have any questions about integrating Thrive Architect with Cartflows or how to use landing pages, or if you run across any errors, uh, feel free to leave a comment in the video or in the blog post. I know I have troubleshooted already a problem with the Ocean WP theme, which is the theme that I use on most of my sites right now until the Thrive Theme Builder is available. Uh, so if you run into any problems there, feel free to leave a comment. And uh, again, if you want to get the templates that I've built here for the landing page and the checkout page, uh, feel free to look in that blog post and it's simple for you to just enter your email and I'll shoot them over to you. All right. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to ask and thanks for watching.